Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to install an older macOS that is no longer supported by Apple. Let's say you are on macOS Mojave or Catalina. Like in my situation, I'm on macOS Mojave. So let's say you want to downgrade it back to an older macOS that works better and performs much faster like macOS High Sierra or just macOS Sierra. Like in my situation, I want to downgrade it back to macOS High Sierra because I think it performed better than macOS Mojave. With the normal method, you cannot do so because at one point during the downgrade process, there will be a message pop up saying application is damaged and cannot be used to install macOS, even if your macOS installer file is 100% fine. The reason for that is because Apple has blocked or stopped signing the older macOS versions for your Mac, just like your iPhone or iPad. However, unlike your iOS devices, installing unsigned macOS is much simpler. All we have to do is just trick Apple server into believing that we are installing the current macOS. But in fact, we are installing the older macOS. So without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, for this method to work, you need to install the unsigned macOS offline. This means that you need to make a bootable USB for a particular macOS that you wish to install or downgrade to. Let's say we downgrade to macOS High Sierra. Make sure you make a bootable USB for that. If you don't know how to create a bootable USB, I have included a link to my other video for how to do that. Just check the description or just check the card that is popping up at the top right of the screen right now. Also before you can start creating a bootable USB, you need that macOS installer file first. And unfortunately, you cannot download it from App Store because the reason why they say it's unsigned, which means Apple stop allowing you to download the older macOS directly from App Store. So you need to go to a third party website. Again, the link is in the description. Just go to this website. It's called Mac Torrent. Once you're here, click on OS. If this ad pop up, just quit it. It's fine. This site need ads to pay the bill for them. Just ignore it. Once you're here, you can search for it by scrolling down like that, you will see. Or you just search here. Again, ads pop up, just ignore it. You type in the macOS you want, like macOS High Sierra, maybe. You click on the button search. Okay, you can see lots of them. Just choose the one you want. You may click on the word download here. This one, it will redirect to the uTorrent app. So you need to download the uTorrent app to be able to download these macOS installer file offline. Again, the link is in the description. The uTorrent app is free. Then you click on the word download here. If this pop up, just quit it. Try again. When you click this, if you have uTorrent, it will redirect you to uTorrent to download. But in my case, I don't use uTorrent. I use Fox. It's the same. It's just like uTorrent, but it's a paid app. It link you like this. Click OK. Let it search the link and it will show you the name soon. See? macOS High Sierra and we start downloading and you have to be patient because sometimes it's slow sometimes it's fast it depends on the feeds and also your internet connection once you complete downloading it then you can create a bootable USB again at this point if you don't know how to create a bootable USB just watch another video in the description to make a bootable USB after you have successfully created a bootable USB for your Mac Next, you have to make sure that your bootable USB is plugged in and then you can restart the computer. But make sure when you restart and then it goes to black screen. So you have to press hold on the option key so that when it boot back up, it will allow you to have the boot option, whether you boot back to a normal macOS or you boot into the bootable USB. So let me do so now. Click here, click on restart and restart. Click on option key and wait for it to show up. Okay, you can see the option here. And you select to boot from a bootable USB and you can just click on it, the up arrow here. It will start booting from that bootable USB. Just wait for it, it may take some time. Now you can see this, 
So you see there are four options. Restore from Time Machine, Backup, Install macOS, Get Help, and Disk Utility. Now at this stage, it is highly recommended that you clean install the unsigned macOS instead of just installing the old macOS or the unsigned macOS on the new macOS. Because if you do that, it may get some errors. To clean install it, you have to click on Disk Utility, click on Continue. It will show this and you click on Macintosh HD and then you click on the word Erase and here you can leave it like this or they have the option for extended journal you select that and click Erase and once you're done you go back quit here and now everything inside your Mac hard disk is gone so make sure before you perform this erase process you have to back up everything inside that new mac os first before you proceed downgrading to the older mac os then after you erase it here is the trick if you click the word install mac os and you click continue you will see this message pop up and say this copy of the install mac os high sierra application is damaged and cannot be used to install mac os even though you know for sure that this macOS installer file works fine. Again, the reason for this is that Apple block or stop signing the older version of macOS. What you need is to type in some codes. So this is when the trick happens. We need to modify the date to make the Apple server believe that this is the current date. So the trick here is that, let's say you want to install macOS High Sierra. So the date that they released, this macOS is around 2017 or 16. So we have to change the year to that year. If you want to install macOS Sierra, then you may need to change it to 2016 or 15. When you change that, the system will tell the Apple server that this is 2017 or 15. Then it will allow you to install that macOS. To change the date, first you have to make sure that you turn off the Wi-Fi. Make sure there's no internet connection because if you don't, turn it off. When you type in the code to change the date, it will auto-correct itself to the current date. You need to turn off the Wi-Fi first and then you click on utilities at the top here. You click on the word terminal. Let me make this big. And you have to type in some codes. The code is very simple. Again, it's in the description. Or you just look at here, just type in date. Type date here, you want to see what date it is. Click enter. So you see the current date is Saturday, November the 30th, 2019. And this is the time you need to change that. So to change the date, just type in date again, space. The format will start with like this, MM, it will man first, and then day, and then hour, and then minute, and then year. So we start with the month first. You leave the same month, the same day, the same hour, and the same minute, but you change the year. So I put November, but you have to put a number. So November is 11, put 11, and then the day, the 30th, type in 30, and then hour. Just type in what you see at the top there, 18, and then the minute, 14, and then the year. Because I want to install macOS High Sierra, I think it was released in 2017, maybe 16. So make sure you just type in the year on the, the same year that it was released or one year earlier. So to be safe, just type in 2016 and you click enter. And you can see now, they show you the new date, Wednesday, November the 30th, the time the same, but the year is 2016 now. Once you've done that, you quit it and you quit terminal here. It show you back this. Make sure you click on the word install macOS, click continue. You can see now it allows you to install macOS High Sierra. You click continue and follow the rest of the steps. And then you're on the unsigned macOS that you wish to downgrade to. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is how you can install or downgrade your Mac to an unsigned macOS successfully. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.